Hello, this is uh, 3 Dimka. Uh, I just finished the online serial crime game remake and I'd like to show you how it works, give you some tips. And here we go. Uh, so to open it, you go to games and here it is uh, Hidden 3D Tetris, that's the new name. Click on it, it loads, loads, loads. I'll hide this, the ads. And here, short instruction. Uh, these are the keys that can be uh, used for the game. Uh, you know, pretty standard. Uh, left, right to move the piece. Uh, up to rotate the piece, and down to drop the piece. And here you can select the difficulty level, beginner, advanced, or expert. Right. So I'll, I'll start as a beginner just to show how it goes. Uh, once you are Difficulty level is selected, you click on start game, and here you can start playing. You can see the pieces drop in, so you can rotate it, right? You can move it left, right, you can drop it. Here comes the next piece, right? I'll use the down key to move it faster down because, you know, this is a little bit slow for me. Uh, here's the third piece, and here it's gonna uh, fill the line, and the line will, uh, the row will uh, disappear, and give you some some points. Uh, speaking of the points, uh, they are calculated based on the level selected, the difficulty level selected, uh, and yeah, so uh, for every piece dropped, it gives some some points. Uh, for every row field completed, it gives a, even more points. And if you if you uh, fill uh, multiple lo uh, multiple rows in a row, <laughs> no pun intended, it'll give you even more points. So basically, the strategy here is to fill as many uh, rows, make them disappear, right, uh, and that'll give you more points, right? So um, if you get tired, if you need a break, there is there is a pause function. Uh, just use the spacebar key, bam. And it, it'll pause the game, it'll show you the current progress, it'll reveal you the, the current game score, the game uh, state, right? And uh, if you want to continue, press the spacebar uh, key again, and here we go. We can continue, right? So um, at some point when the game is uh, is ending, right? When you are close to filling up the space, right? You, you basically once the game uh, game's over, uh, you'll have. Uh, you have the option of uh, submitting your score to the uh, to the high score table, to the records, and uh, to qualify for that, you'll need to make at least 100 points. So I'm I'm having 114, so that that should be enough. So I'll just I'll just finish the game by just dropping the pieces. Drop, 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 drop. Bam, game's over. Uh, so it shows you basically your current score, and here you can you can enter your name. So I'll enter my name, and here's the submit score button. Click, and it's submitted. Now you know you can look uh, at your rank uh, in the table. Let me click it, and hey, I'm the only person here. Yeah. So right, and then. Then you can play a new game, right? You can select different level. I'll try ex I'll try expert, right? I created this game, right? I practice plenty of plenty of time to be good at it. Let's see if I if I can actually beat my previous record. So here we go. This is how you play it. Uh, this is how you submit your score, right? 
and uh, and again your strategy is to fill as many rows at the same time right and play the highest uh, difficulty level you can play this will give you uh, more points all right now the the previous version was implemented in in in, in flash and unfortunately it got obsolete and so the old version doesn't long doesn't work anymore unfortunately uh, this version should work in any browser right and uh, yeah so uh, you see how how fast how quicker and faster the points are growing comparing to the to the, to the uh, beginner's difficulty level but it's 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 definitely harder right so you need to be very good at seeing stereograms uh, yep I almost messed up eh, I'm waiting for that yeah here we go yeah I, I forgot to mention at the top there there is a hint it'll show you the the next piece very very useful you play a competitive game so you can basically plan ahead by seeing the, the next piece those blue pieces at the top you can plan ahead of time that's another good strategy all right so I'm gonna just finish my my game by dropping the pieces all right submit my score you know it still remembers my name so I just click submit score show my rank if I want to see hey I beat myself very nice all right, that's all, and uh, I hope you'll, you'll enjoy playing this game. Give me your feedback, any comments, ideas. Uh, it'll be very appreciated. Uh, you can also check the the previous the previous games if if your flash still working. Go ahead. Also, yeah, a couple of words about the uh, the the top scores table. People get really competitive here, and they start, you know, putting up some some political messages, international politics, and um, so yeah, that's you know that's what you know people do. Uh, so I, I just hope that you you'll keep this place nice and uh, not not toxic, All right? But you can see like the previous game, the top scores for the previous game. Yeah, they are like very compatible same people just keep playing and playing right w which reminds me um there, there's something else i wanted to to mention like some people got really high score which seems to be impossible and the way how they did it is i mean i mean they have a lot of time at their hands but uh the, the way how they actually achieve that high score is by just using the pause button so they would uh, play 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 get to like really high score like hours later you know they need a break they just pause it you know they go you know go make a break rest maybe sleep come back next day later continue and again and again right many hours and that's how they get those crazy scores right lucky people have uh, so much time on their hands um, and yeah, that was the, the last hint. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.